Hi, I'm Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to use your Ricoh printer as a network printer. Uh, this is going to be done in three stages. Uh, the first stage, of course, will be to unpack your printer, get everything set up, all accessories installed, which we've already done today. We're going to be using this 3300 as an example. The second stage will be configuring the printer, uh, which I'll step you through, and then the final stage will be to install the drivers and configure the computer. Okay, now that you've got everything unpacked, we're ready to set up the printer. Uh, first thing you want to do is you go into your menu, you want to arrow down until you see host interface. Once you get to host interface, you'll hit the enter key and then arrow down until you see network setup. You hit enter on network setup and the first thing we come to is DHCP. We want to turn that off. That's very important. You just hit enter on that, arrow down to off and hit enter again. And that sets that off. Now that that's set, you'll arrow down to IP address and hit enter on IP address. Now let me talk about this for a second. You want to make sure you have an IP address that's not in your DHCP scope. Now, have you noticed it has one pre-assigned here? Well, this is a default setting. However, a good safe IP address to use would be 200. So you're going to use your arrow up and down key to set your IP address. Particular network we're using today, we're going to use 192. Once you get the first number set, you hit enter, move to the second, which will make 168. You hit enter again to move to the second one. This will be a one. Hit enter again to move to the last one. And as I stated before, a good safe IP address to use is 200. It's high enough if it is in the scope that most likely another computer will not get the same address. Most likely it's not even in your scope. Once you get the last number, just hit enter again. It goes to here. The next step, you'll come down to subnet mask. Now this needs to be 255-255-2550. Easiest way to get there is to hit the arrow down one time, enter, arrow down, enter, arrow down, and then keep hitting enter until it comes back to the previous menu selection. Then you set your own kind key and you're done configuring your printer. Now we'll move on to the PC. Now that your printer is set up and on the network, you want to open your web browser. In the address bar at the top, you want to enter the IP address that you assigned to your printer. This verifies that your computer sees the printer on the network. Now that we've verified that our printer is actually talking to the network, it's time to install the drivers. First thing you want to do is go to condi.com. Once you're there, we'll go to the support page. Uh, across the middle, you'll see the red bar for the PartnerNet logon. Go ahead and click on Logon, and then enter your PartnerNet account information. Once you hit log on here, the next thing you want to do is click on the link that says click here to continue to the support members area. From here we'll go to RICO support. And then from here we have to pick the appropriate driver. We're looking for the GXE 3300N driver. If you have a 32-bit operating system, you would pick the one for the 32-bit uh, or the 64-bit accordingly. We're installing this to a Vista with a 32-bit operating system, so we'll grab this driver. We want to click on the download link. It should ask if you want to run or save, depending on which web browser you're using. We're going to save this file, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. But the most important thing is that you know where it's actually placing the file on your computer. Once you finish downloading the driver, just go ahead and run the driver file. First thing you'll have to do is accept the license agreement. Click Next. You want to select Connected via LAN and hit Next. All right, we want to add a new print driver or connect a printer without USB. Click Next. Here we want to select the little plus that's located beside the printer name. Uh, there's a checkbox here for default printer. If you want to make this your default printer, leave this box checked. If not, just uncheck this box. Um, then we want to find the line for port. We click it one time. Then at the bottom we want to hit add. Look down through here for standard TCP IP port and hit OK. That opens the wizard for the ports. You want to click Next, 
and then here type in the IP address you programmed on the printer. Hit next. Select next again and then finish. Now you should see the IP address you programmed on your printer right here beside ports. At this point you want to hit continue. The driver will copy files. And then you get to the status monitor screen. On this screen, just go ahead and hit next. Uh, if you get this message asking if you want to restart, you want to select no, restart later, and then select finish. You may or may not see the restart function in the driver. Next we need the ICC profile. Now this will have to be emailed to you from a technical support representative here at Condi. Once you have that email, simply open it up, find the ICC profile uh, attached to the email as uh, GXE3300N Ditrans High Quality. We want to save this file uh, to your computer. Uh, here I'm putting it on the desktop and again it doesn't really matter where you save it as long as you know how to find it. Once you have that profile down, simply right click on it and select Install Profile. You will not see the install actually take place, but once you select that, it's done. At this point, we want to go into your control panel and then go into your printer list. On uh, Windows Vista, this is Printers. On Windows XP, this is Printers and Faxes. And on Windows 7, this is Devices and Printers. Double-click on that to open that and then find your printer. This is the Gel Sprinter GXE 3300N. If we select that and then right click and go to Printing Preferences, and go to the Maintenance tab and click on Display Status Monitor. You should get a notice that the printer is operational and either in standby mode or ready. Once you've verified that, hit OK there and come over to Printer Configuration. You want to uncheck the box that says Reduce Automatically to Fit Letter and then set the spool format to raw. And then we'll move to the setup tab. You want to change the paper type to inkjet plain paper. Select user settings and hit change. In the bottom left, make sure you have a check and use air diffusion. If it's not checked, simply click on the box. The top right hand column, you want to set color profile to off. And then click on the miscellaneous tab and make sure you have a check and print as bitmap. Uh, again, if it's not checked, just click on the box and hit OK. Once that's done, you want to click on the Save button in the upper left, right below Custom Settings, and type in Condi ICC and click OK. Once you hit OK, you'll notice. Once you hit OK, you'll notice the Custom Settings pull down now says Condi ICC. Go ahead and click Apply and OK, and then right-click on the printer again, and this time go to Printing Preferences. Then right-click on the printer again, and this time go to Properties. For Windows 7 users, you want to go to Printer Properties, which will be about the fourth option down in the menu. Once this opens, you want to come over to the Advanced tab. From here, you want to come down and select Start Printing after last page is spooled. Once that's done, come over to the Color Management tab. Uh, click on the button that says Color Management. For Windows XP users, this will take you straight into the Color Management. Uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7, you'll actually have to go into Color Management and select the printer. Uh, click on the pull down at the top, find the printer in the list, select it. Uh, Right below the printer's listed, you want to check the box that says use my settings for this device. And then for profile selection, set this to manual. And then in the bottom left hand corner, select add. And look through this list for the profile that we added earlier. GXE 3300N Ditrans High Quality. Select it and hit OK. Then hit Close. Select OK. 
At this point, the only thing left to do is to configure whichever application you're going to be printing from, and you're ready to go. For questions or help with this or anything else from Condi, please contact us at Condi Technical Support, 1-800-826-6332, option 2, or send us an email at support at condi.com.